Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Resurrection Remix ROM for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, Resurrection Remix. If you don't know what Resurrection Remix is, it's probably because you are pretty new to the ROM flashing scene. Resurrection Remix has been a juggernaut. It has a lot of credibility when it comes to a custom ROM. It may not be the most feature rich ROM as of now. That mantle has probably been taken up by a lot of other ROMs now. Havoc is there, MSM Extended is there, even Evolution X, Colt OS. A lot of ROMs have come up to take that title away from this one, but this is a seriously feature rich ROM. Let's get started. What you saw there was the lock screen it does have pickup sensor home wave and all that it is based on lineage os so as such it does use uh, the trebuchet launcher for its launcher so it does have a few features available let's go to the about phone page in the about phone page you can see this for the android this for the one plus three android version is 9.0 resurrection remix this is the latest version as of now available hasn't been updated the august security patches but it is coming soon enough vendor security patch is april kernel is lineage of course and this is these are the basic stuff about it as in the status is enforcing if you or wondering about that that is pretty much it in the about phone page as i've already said resurrection remix is one of those prime roms which are available for anyone to do it, it is an official rom it does get timely updates every month won't be sitting in the dock with the latest security patches or anything of that sort and it actually works really really well for most part before everything vlt is working i have been using geo for a while now it is working decently well it does even have the vlt symbol which you can enable from the reception tools vienna status is working sim swap is working which is really nice let's get to the features because there are a lot to cover. Almost all the extra options are inside the resurrection tools option. In there you will find the status bar options. In the status bar option clock options are available. You can customize how it looks. You can even have the smart clock. It will hide the status bar clock periodically. So that's also available. AMB ind indicator date options are available which is pretty cool. So net activity indicator in the status bar is available with the threshold available which is cool. Battery status indicator is available where you can customize that. These are all the options available. It even has an Android Q option which is really nice to see. Apart from that battery bar it can also be enabled band logo can be enabled if you are someone who wants to have the resurrection remix logo there you can do that notification ticker is available if you are someone who uses the notification ticker in place of peak notification i like a lot about the notification ticker system icons can be enabled and here is the vlt icon if you enable that you will be able to get vlt which is standard practice standard stuff carrier label options are available where you have customization for carrier label if you want that it will work pretty well old mobile type style is available where the lte and 4g options are merged rather than a separate functions i like that a lot status bar gestures are available for brightness control and double tap to sleep status bar item can be enabled or disabled whatever you do want to in the quick setting options you do have transparency level you can enable that quick setting tile style can be enabled which is really cool it does have a few options here i like a lot of options which are just basically different from the stock one the stock circle options are not something which i like personally well other slider position can be on the top or the bottom or you can straight up hide it quick setting header can be enabled where you can customize this one which is really interesting animation can be customized for the quick setting panels and also tile layer can be customized in the tile layout options you do have options to customize it from here where you have the column the row all that can be customized there is no quick panel on the top row it cannot be customized from here but it is an adb command away you can do that these are all the extra tiles which you get data saver is available caffeine is available heads up you can disable enable all of these options are available gaming mode is available if you are someone who does that now quick pull down is available where you can enable that uh smart pull down is not available but still that's okay vibrate on touch is available for the quick setting tiles then the recent option you can enable slim reason a lot of people do prefer slim reason to the pie style reason option apart from that you can also enable the oreo style option which is interesting uh, if you are someone who selects oreo style you will be able to use memory bar clear over button and all that which does work out really well in the lock screen options you do have options for power menu on the lock screen you can disable that fingerprint unlock is available whenever you reboot the device also you will not need to input your pin code which is really interesting again use it at your own risk sometimes i have had this issue where it just doesn't work and you are locked out of your device for a long while until you go to the team in recovery and delete the vlog screen db file charging info is available if you want to have the info whenever you are plugged in charging animation will be enabled and that is really cool because that will show the lightning icon you have an option to disable that also which is interesting face auto unlock is available if you are someone who uses the google face unlock feature so it will swipe up automatically bottom shortcuts can be customized which is really interesting i like to keep it disabled because it, uh, it uh, speaks to me aesthetically media cover art can be enabled or disabled cover filter can be enabled which is pretty cool lock screen weather can be enabled personally 
I use this all the time because it just works really well. Clock style can also be customized. It's pretty cool. And the animation options, you do have a simple fade off animation for the screen off animation. List view animation can also be customized. Scrolling cache, toast icon animation is available and also icon can be enabled for it. R art configuration, this animation, you can customize that. I mean, it's a Wayne option which is available here. Then the miscellaneous option, you do have alarm locker. Now, if you are having issues with the alarm, with the idle rate and all that, you can use this, but it is for the expert user only. Don't block off anything which might be important. So if you don't know what you're doing, keep away from this one. The kill app button is available, which I really like. So it will show for applications which can be killed. It will show a kill app button here, which is interesting. I really like that because there are a lot of rogue applications which I try out and I just want to get it off from my background usages. Show CPU info is available, which will show the CPU info as the name suggests. Volume steps are available if you want to micromanage that. And the weather options, you can customize how it looks. So the uh, icon pack can be customized. It also has Omni Jaws where you can customize the interval of it and all that is customizable. Now, aggressive battery saving is available. You can enable that if you want a little bit more idle battery range. In call vibration options are available. Also, frame corners are available if you want to have the rounded corners or if you want to customize the padding of it. It is available. You can customize that. And the interface options, you do have LCD density pixel selector, which is really cool. I mean, if you want a specific density, you can customize that with the actual number of it and not just the sliders. I really like this option, which is missing in a lot of other ROMs. And the dashboard options, you can customize the dashboard. This setting, it can be customized here. Uh, personally, I, I don't mind changing it because these are options which I will be using once and then won't go, ever go back to. Fun can be customized from here. It does have a lot of funds available. A few of my favorites are, of course, Oswald is available. You can customize that. It is working really well. Gesture Anywhere is available, but personally, I don't use it anymore. It is available for those who still use it. Heads up display is available. You can customize the timeout and also snooze timer, which is really interesting. Screenshot options are available where you can select the screenshot type and also screenshot sound if you need it. Or also you can just disable the shortcut if you don't want that. Mod pixels are also available, which will increase the screen on time a lot. I mean, I have used this that I can pretty much see that it does make a difference. System UI tuner is available if you want to do that. I mean, these are options which are available with other options also. The navigation pie is also available if you want to use that. Personally, on this device, with hardware key control, I would rather use that one because it works really well for that. Then the volume panel, you can enable or disable all of these volume panels. If you want all of them, you can enable that and it will work really well. Then the navigation, if you are someone who uses navigation bar, you can enable that. You can customize that and uh, work your way out of that. It does have smart bar, fling bar and also stock nav bar, which is really cool. Head gestures are available. If you are someone who is coming from something like MIUI, you can actually use that. It should work out really well. It does also come with the navigation gestures from OnePlus. Now again, not the most smooth one but it is available for those who are coming from a different oneplus device and use that now hardware key options are available where you have the backlight options you can customize that pretty cool back button home button and overview button can be customized for all single tap long press and double tap and it is the aosp style options which is available you can customize from any of these options available the button option you do have volume rocker control you have keyboard cursor control and also the control playback option long press on the power button when the screen is off for torch is available with the automatic turn off which is really interesting in the extras option you do have the swap button that is the swap navigation button which does work out really well notification slider is also available which can be customized which is working no no problems there now in the about phone page you can see the change log the feature list the maintainers all of that can be seen from here which is interesting and it works out really well now that is it in the resurrection tool settings now apart from that in the display options you can see that there is a night light of course live display is available with color profile and i really really like it because it works really well for my taste because i like the dynamic color profile which does saturate a little bit more i just like it it's just there outdoor mode can be enabled from here so it will automatically brighten up to the most whenever you are outdoors and the ambient light sensor picks it up now, apart from that the style options are available where you can customize the uh, theme of it now as you can see i'm using the dark mode and not the black dark mode it is also available which you can select automatic will basically apply whatever the main color of your wallpaper is if it is a dark wallpaper it will apply dark theme these are all the accent colors available not the most exhaustive list of options available but still it works decently well now fun size and display size can be customized from here display options you can enable all of these options as you can see uh, you have the pickup sensor hand wave and pocket mode which you can enable from here which does work out really well double tap to sleep is available from here and also pocket detection is available i do want to mention that i am running on an encrypted device it has been working pretty well i didn't have any issues with it and system options you do have uh, gesture options if you want to have double tap on the power button for camera it will work out also if you are using the nav bar you will have the swipe up on home button option for pill style navigation gestures available with Google. It also comes with an updater which should work really well. Now I haven't really updated it because it's not Delta or anything. It is available for those who need it. Now system profiles is also available. If you are a long time lineage user, you can have
have that it does work out decently well and that is pretty much with the features of the rom as you can see it is a pretty exhaustive list of features it has a lot of features going on for it it works really well for the features which are available so yeah it is a very feature rich rom now the battery life now i'm pretty okay with the battery life which i got with this one i'm not gonna say it's the most battery life I i've gotten with it active brain was nothing to be impressed about i was getting about 70 to 80 percent of active brain which is kind of a lot i mean you can get about four and a half to five hours of sot with this one shouldn't be an issue the active drain was a little bit better it was getting about 1.4 1.3 battle life is not the most exciting thing about this rom now what you see here is because i don't have a sim card which is working now and i don't have whatsapp installed that is the reason you are having the idle drains like this with whatsapp installed with uh, the uh, with all the stuff which i normally use yeah i'm getting about 1.3 to 1.4 percentage of idle drain and about 17 to 18 percentage of active drain which is okay it's fine it's fine for it now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom puts it squarely where other pi rom sits it's about 160,000, which works really well no issues with that though it works decently well i did also try out pubg it is it works really well now this is pubg Lite because i feel like pubg Lite is a much better option for this one rather than uh, the full-on pubg experience it works okay i'm not saying it's bad but pubg Lite actually gives me a little bit more performance with it as you can see the uh, frame rates are not over the top it is capped at 30 fps i'm getting about 20 25 and uh, above fps every time something which i noticed about pubg Lite is that it doesn't dip the fps whenever there is a lot of action going on so i'm really happy with that regard of it so it's really really cool so yeah performance wise is pretty cool now the stability of the rom i have to say the stability of the rom is a really really good feature of this rom it works really well for the stability of it no issues at all no formats no no shutdowns no getting stuck at places no uh, restarts or anything of that sort stability is top notch now i, I believe one plus three is now at a point where stability issues are not really a thing with custom roms anymore it's going to work whatever the situation is so i'm pretty happy with that now the aesthetics of the rom the aesthetics of the rom as you can see i mean there is dark theme there is option to change the stuff here and all that is it the most customization available probably not there is a lot of options available and one thing which i don't really like is the notification uh, shade being white where the other stuff is dark mode i'm not a huge fan of it it is something which is there with this rom that is one thing but know what you're getting into that is pretty much it now the overall experience of using the rom overall experience is pretty damn great it works really well didn't have much of an issue with it everything is uh, fine i can use this as my daily driver as any other <laughs> daily driverable rom is i mean to be extremely honest i don't know why i would choose a different rom because it has almost all the features available and for someone who's not a technophile it's pretty good it works really well and if you're not looking for the nitty-gritty details of it you will be pretty happy with it if you want the very very specific feature from one that one rom on this one probably may not get it but for the most part it's a very good rom now i forgot the camera test uh, i mean uh, the camera is the snap camera which works really well not too keen on that one it works decently well but it also has gcam now i have been using gcam with it it works really really well these are a few photographs which i took with gcam works very well i'm really happy with it. this is a photo which i took with snap cam you can probably see that it is not comparable i mean gcam is much better than the stock camera that can ever be in my opinion so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation if you don't know what the selection mimic boot animation looks like well now you can so guys there you have it that is the resurrection remix boot animation available for our device and all resurrection remix device for that matter it's a very good boot animation works really well slick it's basic it shows what it is and i like it so yeah that is pretty much it about the rom then I, I just like it for what it is it's really cool one thing which i do want to mention is that i don't know if you can see that the network signal icon and battery icon is tiny compared to other icons on the status bar which i did notice previously when i was using it so i just want to throw it out there if you do have that issue where you just needed to get corrected yeah that's something which i do want to mention also it doesn't have all the options available it does have have audio recorder but it doesn't have automatic call recorder which is something i look forward to in a custom rom so personal things i guess that much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye